Of course, George Bush was really in operation then. He wasn't simply vice president. He was acting as president. The CIA has always been the enforcement arm of the Council on Foreign Relations. Practically every head of the CIA has been a member of the Council on Foreign Relations. So what's it all about? Trafficking in dope? Killing? Mass murder? Corruption? Overthrowing free countries to impose dictatorships? That's been the course. Communist China is getting the benefit of our loss. They gain, we lose. They get stronger, we get weaker. Reagan and Bush, Bush Sr., transferred about $17 billion in nuclear and conventional hardware, military hardware, to the Communist Chinese, who have, who have executed more people than any nation on the, on the planet Earth. The Communist Chinese about Hitler to Hitler at the height of his hysteria. They've mass murdered in excess of 100 million people. They have some 23 million people used for slave labor. Oh, you go to the store and you buy these little products. We import slave labor and export our jobs. A billion dollars a week in deficits? And you wonder why we're having an economic problem? <laughs> that's, gonna, that's not going to change with Bush. Bush's uncle, George's brother, is head of the U.S.-China Trade Organization. That's out of Beijing. And the Beijing butchers mass murdered people in the streets of, of Tenement Square. George Bush Sr. went around the next week or so and increased aid and trade to the communist cartels. They're the terrorists. But the war isn't going to be against the real terrorists. The war is being conducted against you and your family and those who speak out for freedom, those who disclose what's really happening behind the scenes. It's my humble opinion. If I get assassinated for saying it, just remember in America you can't give your public opinion anymore. In my humble opinion, the World Trade Center was sacrificed. Adolf Hitler was famous for saying that if you're going to frighten the people, you've got to give them a little blood, and you've got to make it look legitimate. You've got to make it look legitimate and scare them. So I think, it's just my opinion, but I believe that New York, the incident that happened at the World Trade Center, was a sacrificed plot against the American people to frighten the American people into accepting George Bush and the entire New World Order Nazi fascist totalitarian dictatorship that these people have been planning for this country for a long time. And I, my suggestion, if I were being asked my opinion as to what we might want to do, my suggestion is this. Don't ever give up your firearms. The same FBI that helped the terrorists blow up the World Trade Center the first time, they built the bomb. They, they got the driver's license. It's all in, it's all in testimony. It's, a, it's available. Anybody that wants to see it, you can get the trial transcripts and find out that uh, the FBI helped. The same FBI that that's, we've raked across the coals for years in the magazine for ineptness when their, when their own chemists, when their own doctors, when their own lab technicians came forward and said they, they were doing it wrong. They were framing people. They figured and did it almost instantly. Is the CIA an army of individuals who have a license to kill? It's like Murder Incorporated, right? Oh, uh, are you kidding? The CIA makes the mafia look like a Sunday school class. I mean, our, this is the problem with what's actually happening in Afghanistan. They, look, the CIA has done in this country, what they've done to us is unbelievable. Look at the terrorist acts that have occurred. The CIA behind most, if not all of them. We had the Marine Barracks. We had our embassy in Kenya. Uh, we had Pan Am 103. Uh, we had the USS Cole. Uh, we had Oklahoma City. We had the World Trade Center in 1993.
our government was involved in some of those. I can't say all of them because I don't know, but I do have documentation that there was government implication in some of these. We'll discuss them as we go. Well, Ted, um, the people out there, I mean you, did you know that the World Trade Center uh, went up when it was bombed internally? Uh, that it all was put together by an organization called the FBI. Is that 1993? Yeah. Yes. Uh, I have a. Um, I'll show this on camera. Uh, a newspaper article from the New York Times, and it was also an article in the LA Times, by the way, and it's dated October 28, 1993, and it's a result of testimony in the trial and. The informant, the FBI informant in the trial, a fellow named Salam, a 43-year-old former Egyptian uh, army officer. Imam Salam. Right. He was the informant for the FBI, and he recorded his conversations secretly with this. So when it came time for trial, he said, hey, wait a minute. Here's what really happened. Now, he told the FBI in advance that they were going to bomb it. He was assigned, uh, uh, given the assignment to put the bomb together, and he went to his supervisor, this FBI supervisor and said, we're going to put a dummy bomb in here, right? He's, and the FBI supervisor said, no, we're going to put a real bomb. Oh, well, wait a minute. Let's name names. John Antisef. Was and, the supervisor. Yeah, he was the supervisor for the FBI. And he winds up in the, some, with having something to do with, with, the, with the Kenya uh, investigation. So here's a guy who's involved in setting up the World Trade Center for, you know, to be ex blown up, and it resulted in the deaths of Second six people. individuals, over a thousand injured, uh, half nearly a hundred dollar, million dollars. Uh, half million, uh, five hundred million dollars, oh no. Uh, a lot of mi millions of dollars. Millions of dollars, yeah. And, and debt property damage. Right. Now, if justice were done, the FBI agent would be not only in jail, but executed for murder in the first degree. And is the chief suspect in the attack upon the World Trade Center on September 11th, is not the chief suspect the individuals or individual agency that bombed the World Trade Center in 1993? Based on what happened in 1993, the FBI not only knew in advance they were going to bomb the World Trade Center, they furnished the ingredients for the bomb. Based on that, I would say that the FBI is the primary suspect, but also I think we have to consider the CIA. And the reason you have to consider the CIA is because when you skyjack four airplanes simultaneously with 19 skyjackers, that is no small operation. That took years to plan number one, and hundreds of people had to know about it in advance. Now, our government, NSA, was monitoring bin Laden's phone calls in February 1998. Are you going to tell me for one minute that we didn't know about this in advance? The CIA had to know about it. The FBI had to know about it. The Mossad had to know about it. Now, uh, MI5, uh, British intelligence, had to know about um, it. The CIA knows about it. The FBI knows about it. The commander-in-chief, the president, would have to know about it. Of course he does. And that would mean that, that Bush had prior knowledge, and that would implicate him in reality, if, if, if we wanted to face this thing as it really is, in murder in the first degree. Let me explain. Let me explain to the audience what's happened here. Okay, back in the 80s, 1980s, uh, the Department of Justice proposed legislation to fight terrorism. And uh, this legislation took away many of our constitutional rights and civil liberties. One of the authors, a female attorney with the Department of Justice, publicly stated, made this statement. I've got her name on my file someplace that before this passes, people will have to be killed. Well, so that was the reason I 
Mobile for the 1990.